Dr. Wallace says CSUB would prefer for Togos to stay on campus. This is a hot day in Bakersfield in the mid 90s. Due to student feedback that Togo's has high taste and value of the food. Like this peak yoga class that helps students relax their mind between classes. In today's CSUB alumni, where are they now? Hello, I'm David Kaplan for The Runner Online and welcome to another edition of Microwavable Meal in a Mug. Two months after this announcement, Togo's is still open. I'm with the Kappa Sigma fraternity at the 2015 CSUB Club Fair. Students can expect an email from the university as soon as a contract with Togo's has been settled. Megan, tell us about your time at the Kern County Fair today. What else have you been on and what's been fun? Let's go ahead and take a look at what Adam's doing. The rock at the Student Rec Center at Cal State Bakersfield is free for any student. Today, Janelle Reed will show us how to make chocolate lava cake, which I'm really excited to learn about. My uh, sister and girlfriend are both big chocoholics, so I'm hoping I'll earn brownie points today. <laughs> The CSUB on-campus student population is continuing to grow every year, which is causing the university to face challenges such as parking, lack of room in the Runner Cafe, and classrooms. Facilities Management Assistant Vice President and Campus Transportation Committee member Patrick Jacobs says when students ride the GET bus, the university will pay a portion of the monthly pass, and the university is also considering a rideshare program with rent-a-car agencies. Four or five people in an automobile is considerably better than everybody taking their own vehicles. Jacob says the transportation committee will be looking in the near future at potentially building a parking lot in one of two locations. Outside of our existing parking lot K, which is currently the grass area. The other location would be an extension of parking lot A, north of the Dore Theater. Computer science student Jose Valenzuela arrives on campus an hour before his classes start. If I get here any time close to my class time, I won't make it in time because there'll be no parking spots. To help the lack of classroom space at CSUB, a building project is being planned. If we get that project funded, it would greatly relieve a whole lot of smaller classrooms that we could now do in these larger 140 station rooms. CSUB Food Service Director David Veem is aware of the overcrowding at the Runner Cafe and says when the new dorms were built, the old cafeteria was taken away, but that's just for the short term. The thought was, well, when they grow and do phase two, then they would add a commons building. I'm in parking lot K1 on the CSUB campus where CSUB Police Chief Marty Williamson told me CSUB police had to put parking lot full signs in on the first week of school. Police Chief Williamson also told me there have been 200 plus parking spots available in parking lot I directly behind the iCarta Center. Reporting for The Runner Online, David Kaplan.